All right, my name is, is Kenneth D. Barr, and I'm the head girls basketball coach for the Castleberry Lady Lions. I would like to start by thanking and congratulating our freshman and JV teams on a great season. Our freshman team finished the season with nine wins and ten losses. Our JV team finished the season with 14 wins and 10 losses. Congratu congratulations again, ladies, on a great season, and I can't wait for us to get back to work. Next, we'll move on to our varsity. As, our, uh, as for our varsity, I would like to start by listing all the accomplishments and accolades for our varsity uh, this year. This year, we had one girl receive a superlative award in District 9-4-A. Three girls were voted first team all district, and two girls were voted second team all district. And we had five girls receive academic all honors. Uh, these girls also won 15 games this year, which is the most for a Casper girls varsity team since the 2011-2012 season, as well as making the playoffs for the second time in three years. So our superlative award winner for newcomer of the year was Anna Medina. Our first team all district recipients are Haley Coffin, Katie Massey, and Kimberly Moreno. Our second team all district recipients were Alexis Aguillon and Andrea Rodriguez. Our recipient for the Bobby Miller Award for the 2019-2020 season was Alyssa Salazar. And our academic all district recipients are Alexis Aguillon, Alyssa Salazar, Andrea Rodriguez, Clarissa Valise, and Jackie Martinez. <clears throat> now for our team awards. Every year our coaching staff votes on team awards for the varsity. These team awards are based on which player exhibited the greatest contribution to our team in each category. So we're going to start with Defensive Player of the Year. So this player led our team in charges taken with 23. So our Defensive Player of the Year goes to Katie Massey. <clears throat> Now next for our Offensive Player of the Year. This player scored 194 total points on the season and had 137 total offensive rebounds. Our Offensive Player of the Year goes to Kimberly Moreno. Our Most Improved Player of the Year. This award is given to the student athlete that shows the greatest improvement from day one to the end of the season. So our Most Improved Player goes to Anna Medina. Our Fighting Line Award. This student athlete uh, receives this award for for contributions most to the team in spirit, effort, dedication, sportsmanship, and character. The recipient of the Fighting Line Award is Alyssa Salazar. For our scholar athlete, the, the student that receives this award holds the highest GPA on the team. Our scholar athlete award goes to Clarissa Valise. Now finally for our MVP. This young lady was either at the top or near the top in every statistical category for us. So our MVP for the 2019-2020 season is Haley Coffin. Now in closing, I'd like to thank my coaching staff and all the girls that played this year from the freshman team up to the varsity. <clears throat> I want to thank them for their hard work and dedication to the program. I'm very proud of everything we have accomplished this year and I'm, I am excited to see what the future holds. To my seniors, you will be missed, and you will uh, remember you will always be a family member. So please come back and visit us. Everybody, stay safe, and I'll see everyone soon. I'm Misty Mark, the head softball coach. Um, JV softball started off great this year. They only got to play a handful of games, but you could tell they were learning and developing as uh, the season went on. They're very young, but have promising future. Um, varsity started off slow out the gate but improved quickly and had found lots of success. The varsity went undefeated in the Everman tournament, outscoring everyone 35 to 8, winning the championship uh, against Trouble Tech. The following weekend we played in the Dallas Sunset tournament where we went 2-1 uh, and, and won third place beating WTY 18 to 10. Uh, this was a very eventful tournament for the team as Camille ended up breaking her arm in the middle of the second game. So emotions were high. The overall varsity record was 10-8, and eight, but they had a lot of success and big wins early. We had high hopes going into districts for the varsity. Uh, varsity had four seniors, Alexis Poulet, Ariel Espinosa, Andrea Rodriguez, Larissa Granados. All were multiple-year varsity players. And had a huge impact on the team. 
in crucial moments, it always seemed like one of them was up to bat or in position to help the team win. They impacted the team as leaders on and off the field. They worked hard in the classroom and were great leaders to the underclassmen. They will leave a great legacy and many traditions for the girls to follow. Juniors on the team this year were all returners. Uh, Mia Little, Sabrina O. Hernandez, Jackie Martinez, and Alexis Williams. Mia had a big love at first and received many innings there. Her bat was really starting to come along towards the end of the season with some key hits, especially in the last game at the Dallas Sunset Tournament. Jackie was a surprise for everyone with as little playing experience as she had. She dominated at the play with multiple doubles and scored many runs for us. <coughs> Alex, excuse me. Alexis Williams provided many innings on the mound as that was her primary position. She will continue to help the team next year as a senior. Sophomores, returning sophomores were Camille Martinez and Anahi Silva. Um, new to the varsity was uh, Clary Tober and Clarissa Valise. Anahi gave us many innings on the mound, on the mound and was a vacuum on defense that caught everything that came close to her. She had some very remarkable hits throughout the season, including one home run. Camille was a great help defensively because she could play multiple positions, and she was also clutch to the plate with multiple hits, multiple doubles throughout the year. Uh, Tobar was a speed demon that stole many bases and laid down some pretty bunts for base hits during the season. We had two freshmen that stepped up big this year, Jackie Martinez and Matt, Maddie Ashley, both having a great season defensively and offensively. Jackie was able to provide some exciting moments in the field and as a hitter. She has a bright future in softball. Madison had a great start to the season, especially hitting. Fielding-wise, she proved many times that she was a tough defender. She will bring great things to, to the future of the program. Since the season was cut short, we wanted to honor the seniors with some awards. The Lionheart Award goes to a player that has everyone's best interest at heart and works extremely hard at everything she does. She was the mom on the team and made sure that everyone had what they needed before she would think of herself. She was always the first one there and the last one to leave. She will definitely be missed in the future. Ariel Espinoza has earned the Lionheart Award. Keep working hard, girl. Defensive player of the year was a player that was up to playing multiple positions this year. She made some big plays in the outfield that ended big innings, and she was stepping in the infield when we needed her to. She was asked to play shortstop early in the season, short being one of the most difficult positions to play. She went full force ahead and was very successful with it. Her work ethic was what made her unique. She will be hard to replace next year. Defensive Player of the Year is Alexis Boulay. Offensive Player of the Year goes to a player that works extra hard at hitting every day. She worked hard at being a great teammate and a leader. She led the team with a 553 batting average, one home run, and multiple doubles. She was aggressive on the bases, which led to many runs being scored. Offensive Player of the Year is Andrea Rodriguez. Team MVP Player not only worked hard on the field, she also worked hard in the classroom and held a job for the majority of the season. She stepped into a defensive position that was out of her comfort zone and was outstanding with it. I had multiple coaches throughout the season tell me about the improvement of her glove in that she was a vacuum at third, too. She threw many girls out at first, including the game winner in the Everman Tournament Championship game. She was an excuse me, outstanding defensive player as well as a great hitter. She hit 523 on the year with three doubles. She was smart and aggressive on the bases, and she would score many runs for us. She was a player everyone would want on their team as she had a great attitude, work ethic, and was a natural leader. Most valuable player for the team, Larissa Granados. I would like to say thank you to all the players, JB and Varsity, that took part in the program this year. I would love to have seen how things played out the rest of the year. The coaching staff and I had high hopes for district football teams. Seniors, you will be missed on and off the field, especially with your leadership. 
Thank you, and I hope everyone continues to find ways to be successful in the future. I'm Coach Story, the head tennis coach for the girls. Uh, we had a lot of participation this year. We had 60 total participants, uh, which was enough to make a full varsity and JV team on the girls' side. Uh, this was by far our best team, uh, as we had more wins with three less tournaments this year uh, than we did all of last year. Um, a lot of that came on the girls' side. We had one group win a tournament with Melissa Gutierrez and Alexis Hernandez, who won a, a girls' doubles tournament. Janelle Mosqueda was con consistently uh, competing in the championship draw with her partner George in the mixed doubles. Um, and then most of our others that lettered were multi sport. We had five out of the seven that lettered were multi sport athletes, which was a huge help for us this year. Uh, those that lettered were Melissa Gutierrez, Gian Tabuyo, Alexis Hernandez, Janelle Mosqueda, August Pedron, Nestle Espinoza, and Kayla De La Fuente. Um, like I said, five out of those seven were, were multi-sport. Um, I hope y'all continue to um, love all the ability and the talents that you have. Because not everyone has that opportunity that you do. Um, I hope you love all those people that you interact with and continue to be a bright light to the, the people in the world. I hope you start every day love all with a chance to make it a great day. Hello, everybody. Coach Beasley here. Wanted to talk to you today about the girls' powerlifting program. Uh, we've had some good individuals over the years, but this probably is one of the best teams we've had in quite some time. Um, a couple of years ago, the uh, Texas High School Girls Politics Association added another weight class, allowing 12 members to the team, and considered to be considered a team where it used to be just 11. And this is probably one of the first years that we've had a consistent group of young ladies that have competed as a team throughout the season. With only one of our 14 members graduating this year, Ms. Larissa Granados, her first year as a competitor and her first time competing at the regional meet. We have, of our 14, we had seven of the competing as a team qualified for regionals. Nine of the 12 finished up in the top 15. Three of the seven that qualified for regionals finished in the top five, meddling at the regional meet, and two of the three that meddled are state qualifiers. Our first state qualifier, her first year to qualify as a sophomore, Ms. Karina Marino, and a three-time qualifier, her third year straight as a junior to qualify for the state championships, Ms. Yadira Abreu. Congratulations to all the young ladies that competed this season, and I wish you nothing but the best for next year. Larissa, whatever you end up doing, I'm sure you're going to be great. One final note, and looking at the history of the program and of the lifters competing, each returner increased her totals by 50 to 85 pounds over the last season. It's a true testament to what hard work and a lot of time, sweat, and a few tears can do for you. Congratulations, ladies. Hey, I'm Coach Gina Terrell, and I'm here to talk about the girls' soccer program at Castleberry High School. Um, girls, before we get started, we had a great season. Um, there were ups, there were downs, but we held it together, and I'm really proud of you for that. Um, even though we didn't get to finish it, um, I, still, I still think that y'all did an amazing job. Um, I'm going to start our awards with, to recognize our JV. Um, as a whole, you guys were an amazing group. Um, we had a lot to learn, but you always uh, listened, you stuck with it, you learned quickly, and you saw success throughout the season because of that. So I am excited to see what you guys come with next year, and um, we can just add to it and get better and better every single year. Um, for our varsity team, I'm really proud of you girls. You were handed a lot this season, and you handled it with grace, and you kept your heads up. So we're going to talk a little bit about your accomplishments. Um, you finished 14-5. And six and three in district, uh, and only lost two shootouts, and that's a hard loss, but we took it. We kept our chin up and we kept going. Um, you finished officially third in district, but we still had two games left, so you could have been second. Either way, you're all winners in my book. Just saying. Um, and so we're gonna 
do what our all district awards. Some of you were voted on and nominated by all the coaches in the district. So for our first team all district, we have Janelli, Haley Rivera, um, Arelli, Caitlin Bundia, and Leslie Bertha. Congrats, girls. Our second team all district that were recognized by their coaches and we voted on you. Um, they were impressed with what you did. We have Adelie Coronado, Haley Bentley, Michelle Gutierrez, Arlene Sanchez, and Alicia Espinosa. So um, you girls, you can take away from this season that you played hard, you learned a lot, you went through a lot, but I think all together we grew as a team. Um, <clears throat> now for our individual varsity awards. Um, it was really difficult. You can ask your other coaches. I debated on it for a while, but um, this is kind of, I did the best I could. So here we go. Our MVP this year is going to be Leslie Berka. You had a total of almost 40 goals in the season. That is incredible. Um, I wish we could have played our last two games and gone to the playoffs. I have no doubt that you would have beat the record. But there's always next year. So um, congrats on that, Leslie. Um, our newcomer of the year, Haley Bentley. You did such a great job. Uh, you, I know you're not new, new. You were on our team last year for um, playoffs, but you came into this season and you learned and you watched and you took away and you did some fantastic things. And so I'm really proud of you. You worked really hard. You always ask me, what can I do to get better, coach? What can I do to get better? And you listened. You weren't, thought, you weren't listening to everything I told you. And so I'm super proud of you. Congratulations. Our uh, defensive MVP is going to go to Emily Juarez. Uh, you got moved positions this year to a defensive midfield, and even though you were sometimes like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, you never quit, and you figured it out, and you made a lot of things happen. And so um, you were up, you were down, you were field, you were box to box player, and that's what you look for in a good defensive midfielder. So you have a lot of potential. Stay there, keep fighting, you're going to be amazing. So congrats on that. Our offensive player, um, it was a toss-up. So there's two of you, and um, that goes to Michelle and Arlene. Um, if you look at the stats, you've got you scored some goals, but they're not going to be as high and, and extravagant as others. However, the two of you are the sneakiest strikers I've ever ever seen. People forget that you're there. How they forget, I never know. Arlene. You never quit, and you're always where you need to be, and somehow you make things happen. And I never know how you do it with your fancy footwork, but you get it in the net, and you don't stop, and you encourage everyone, and that's what you look for in a good offensive player. Michelle, you're the ultimate sneak attack. You're so quiet and graceful when you go up there, people forget you're there, and somehow you find the back of the net. And so the two of you, um, we decided it would be great offensive MVP, so congrats on that. Um, most improved player, is going to be Nestle. Um, you started this season, you were still a little rocky, but you came out and you worked hard, and then by the end, you were getting serious plan time. You were making things happen, you were starting to see where things needed to be, and you were going where we told you, and eventually you were figuring out where you should be without any prompting. So I'm really proud of you. You did a great job. You were a big contribution to the team. Um, so congratulations. And our last award is the Lionheart. This is for someone who Maybe you didn't score the goals, you weren't always recognized on defense, but you were always present, you were a leader, you encouraged everyone, and they looked to you for the morale of the team. That's Janelle Mosqueda. Um, you were a rock in our program this year because we had a lot of things happen, and the girls looked to you. You could either bring the team up or bring the team down, it depended on you. And I told you that, I said, I need you 100%. And you said, okay, and you never let me down once. So I really appreciate that. Uh, so congratulations to all of you. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys do next season. Coach Beasley back here again with the track awards. What I'm going to do this year, we were actually one meet shy of the district meet. Uh, two meet shy going for area, and then, of course, three meet shy going to regionals. So what I did, I brought in my Magic Golden Shoe. And we're going to shake the shoe and come up and see what our predictions are going to be for postseason this year. All right, so prediction number one. Make sure you shake it, pull it away, look at it, do not smell it. So, prediction number one. Competing for the trifecta will be Miss Haley Bentley. Looking at the 32, the 800, and the 16. 
For the double crown, we're looking at Ms. Aureli Espinoza in the 100 meter and 300 meter hurdles. Ms. Karina Marino looking at shot put and discus. And Mia Little competing in the 400 and the 800. Now along with that, we have a few other sleepers coming through that might surprise a few people. The 4x4 relay for varsity, Ms. Aureli Espinoza, Emily Cruz, Natalie Burton, and Mia Little. Another sleeper coming through, Ms. Natalie Burton in the 300 hurdles. A couple of others to join them. Alexis Aguilar in the 100 meter, and Alyssa Hammonds in pole ball. I want to also thank these young ladies, all of them, for their time, efforts, and hard work. To our JV athletes that were coming along awesome, coming through at the, towards the end of the season there before we were quarantined, thank you so much for all your time and work also. There are quite a few young ladies to look forward to uh, next season for their competition and their efforts, and I hope you all are able to see them out there compete. To the seniors, thank you for your years of service to the program your leadership, and your guidance haven't gone unnoticed. And we thank you so much for your time and effort. We wish you nothing but the best after you graduate and leave these walls of CHS. Y'all take care. Thanks. Bye. Hello, my name is Taylor Ogden, and I'm here to talk about the athletic training program. Uh, first, I want to thank all of my students who have decided they wanted to join athletic training over the years, whether it's your first year, your second year, or unfortunately it's your last year because you are graduating. So all I want to say is thank you so much for your hard work, everything that you put into this program. Um, it is not easy showing up early, staying late. Um, it is like a full-time job that unfortunately you do not get paid for. So again, thank you everything for you guys have done for us. And to my seniors, um, farewell. I hope you do great in life. Keep up the hard work and the success that you have already started. Um, please continue the hard work that you have shown me over the years um, into your next step, into your next chapter. Uh, I want to highlight um, everyone who lettered this year, whether it is your first year or your second year, and I have one who this is her third year to letter. Um, so I'm going to start in alphabetical order for those who have lettered. Leslie Alvarez, your two-year letterman. Alejandra Armanderas, first-year letterman. Cindy Arlano, it's your first year to letter. Otto Camacho, two-year letterman. Vivi Campos, two-year letterman. Melissa Gutierrez, third-year letterman. Alexis Hernandez, first-year letterman. Chloe Ivey, first-year letterman. Timothy Hosso, first-year letterman. Valeska Lopez, first-year letterman. Katie Massey, first year letterman. Brandon Ramirez, first year letterman. Julian Ramirez, two year letterman. Brianna Salazar, first year letterman. Gina Tavuya, two year letterman. And that's it. Thank you guys so much and good luck with you.